Hello, hello everybody. Welcome on in. I'm Orion. We are back with more Spell Brigade. Today we are going to jump into the new character that they just put out with this new update where they added three new spells, augments for those, and a couple new uh, quests to do. Uh, but the new character is the Star Mage. Uh, they're gonna start off with Falling Stars, which is, I guess, the perfect spell for this character. They're gonna get extra pickup distance, less revive speed, and then bigger spell size for all wizards. They were nice enough to retroactively apply your playtime to get this character, because if you watched my earlier ones, you needed to play almost, I think it was almost five hours to unlock this character, which kind of seemed a little bit ridiculous. Uh, but they went and put out an update the next day where you retroactively apply it. So if you have played this game for five hours already, you can get it. Uh, we're going to do severe. We're going to do the fire pit storm and let's fill up our squad if we can. If not, that's OK. But obviously we're going to run. I guess we'll run sort of a, a falling star build here with this character since that's the spell we're going to start off with. We'll see. If we can get as many as we can. Oh, I have um, I actually have the new costume. So let's let's run that uh, to get this costume. You need to get four falling stars at once. So I was able to get that in one of my other runs. Uh, so we'll run the new costume for this character. And we'll see if we get a lobby. I doubt we do. I do like I do always fill up the squad. Um, it's about a 25 percent chance that we get someone, I would think. <laughs> The odds are the odds are pretty low, but honestly, it's better than some games. I'm just glad this game actually has matchmaking. A lot of these type of games don't have matchmaking. You know, you need to have you need to have an actual friend and a friend code and all of that stuff to kind of join in and play. So we're going to run a full falling star build here. Uh, we'll try to get all the augments we can. We'll try to get the extra obviously the extra falling stars and then the explosions so that'll probably be the best bet here let's do the critical chance six i think we'll start doing hardcore soonish i've tried a couple times i don't think i'm quite there yet oh look at that i just unlocked the wizard king too with that level up let's do the cooldown so i that might is that the last character I need it? Um, I might have had two characters left that I need to do. Falling Star is definitely one of my favorite spells in this game, though. It's pretty strong. And I like that it can hit anybody on the screen. And the augments for it are pretty good. Let's do cooldown again. We're going to be getting up some, some really fast... Uh, Falling star attacks here because that's already two really good cooldowns and then if we can get multiple uh, To get the last skin for this character the last costume you need to drop so many falling stars uh, I don't know exactly how many it is, but we'll see how close we can get to it after this game Especially with this cooldown and then if we get some good augments for it Okay, um, let's see. With this one, I guess we'll do Rune Burst. Rune Burst is one of the strongest spells in the game, so it's something a little bit more close range. The next update is coming in about three weeks. Who knows what they're going to add, but I like the pace that they've been keeping here. It's been pretty impressive. Okay, let's do let's do base cooldown. It seems every three weeks a new update comes out. And the updates the updates are relatively substantial. I think I, I already complained about this enough, but just the one thing I think I want to see them adjust is the augments. Um, it is kind of frustrating or not frustrating. I don't know what the right word is. Disappointing to see all these spells get the same augments that are on all the other spells i do think after some time they do need to i would love to see them try to make these spells feel a little bit more unique and have augments customized just towards them but i've already ranted enough about that so 
Let's do... I don't care about the pickup distance, honestly. Even if it is a legendary. I'm just... I just rely on the magnets. Okay, so we're gonna try to get... I wish I had full health here so I could... Yeah, let's do base cooldown, so I could do more rerolls if I needed to. Um, okay, well, let's do cooldown there. Okay, then quest complete. Okay, you cast an additional projectile. Perfect, I didn't even need to reroll that. So that's going to be what we're going to try to do here. I'm going to try to get all these additional projectiles, and then I'm going to try to get the one that explodes. So if all works out well, we'll get three or four falling stars and then they'll all be exploding and it should be a relatively <laughs> should be a really strong build Six, yeah. But overall, this game's good. It's fun to play. It just needs, you know, it just needs some tuning or additional things, I guess. More enemy variety, more, more augments. But I like the look of the game. I like that it's multiplayer. I like that the multiplayer relatively works. It seems that there's a decent player size for this game. It's not like the hugest player size, but it's decent. The Discord is always active, so if you ever want people to play with, join their Discord. That's a good place to find people. Okay, we'll do Rune Burst damage. You know, games that have an active community are always nice. Uh, more spell cooldown on this, huh? I guess that's good if we're trying to do that quest. <laughs> Where we need to shoot so many falling stars. Wow, legendary again. Okay, then what are we going to get here? Fire or acid? Let's do fire. I think fire would be better with this. Because acid, I don't know if we're going to be able to really take advantage of the acid. Because... Sometimes they might be too far away. Okay, there's Chthonic Charge. Um... I don't think we'll do Chthonic Charge, because I don't think that's really that good of a spell if we... If I don't put any... If I'm not going to level it up at all, I don't think it's worth picking that one. I, we'll just stick with Magic Missile, I guess, so we can use that to, like, target the boss or something. There is going to be a Chthonic Charge build I'm going to do here, though. I, I already did a video for it, but there is another build to do for that, which we'll do. That's going to probably be next after this one. Okay, we'll do the rune burst damage. Okay, our next quest should be showing up here super soon. So pick up distance again. Um, no, we'll just go with the legendary cooldown or the epic ugh, rare cooldown. Okay, there's the new quest. Crush the statues. That should be pretty easy, especially with our falling stars. Because the falling stars will target them. So our falling stars will pretty much do all the work here. Okay, let's do... 
critical chance again. Let's see, cause see how my it's targeting these, so it's just makes it so easy to do this quest. One more. Then hopefully we can get another falling star. Okay. Uh, we'll take this one. Uh, your spell explodes at the end of its lifetime. I would prefer the additional, but I do want to get that one either way. So that'll be nice. But hopefully we can get an additional one on the next time. But I'm not going to re-roll that, obviously, because that's a good one. Okay, now we need to find the chest. Mm. Honestly, my falling stars will probably destroy the chest before I even see it. Hopefully we just get the luck one. Yep, your luck is increased by one each time you don't use your rerolls. Max of ten. They really want to give us pickup distance, huh? Um, I would re-roll this. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, we just won't use our rerolls though. I could have re-rolled that one though, because I technically didn't have a stack yet, so. all that trying to get the health and then I probably lose more health trying to get it all right we're getting a lot of room burst here um, we can do more room burst there I mean I not that I'm complaining I would just prefer falling star although I think we'll be able to get both I think there's going to be a ton of XP on this map. I'm just going to have to get magnets. Because look at those exploders like behind us. They're just going to wreck everything. Rune Burst again. Okay, let's do Rune Burst. Um, okay, this one we can do Acid. XP. This is like three level ups right here. Okay, we can do spell damage. Base damage. Probably don't need the armor. Okay, then our last spell. <laughs> I don't like <clears throat> I don't like Aether Beam, but let's give it a go. We'll give it another shot here. I at least didn't like it last round. Okay, let's do spell damage. Aether Beam's gonna be at the 
the bottom of the tier here. Okay, I want to kill this guy, but I also want to get his... I guess I don't really have a lot of life regen, so... I was going to try to come into this with full health, although we might be able to get there to full health. Just because I want to ensure that we get a Falling Star augment. And I don't want the one that targets highest HP, because that one... That one's not going to be good for us. Um, okay. This is a reroll, so we're going to get two rerolls here. Okay, see, so that's the one I don't want, so let's do another one. Ah, that's a bummer. Okay, we'll do... We'll do the extra Aether Beam. Okay, let's do Falling Spot Star Spell Damage. Oh, that guy blew up on me. I, Okay. I mean, I was down to like a <laughs> hundred health or something. The pros and cons of not being able to reroll. do rune burst here with spell damage oh there's a magnet let's go get that and we might get more augments than normal here I need to get some heals too Remember when I said I wasn't going to need armor? Okay, let's do... Rune Burst again. Titan's Fury. I'm gonna do falling stars because I need to get no let's do the health regeneration just because I'm so low right now re-rolling <clears throat> re-rolling <laughs> re screwed all my health right there and I didn't even get what I wanted which is ugh, it's the worst part of it again. There we go, Legendary Falling Stars. Cooldown again, too. I think that's that's at least two, maybe three Legendary. Okay, let's do cooldown again. Okay, let's do Magic Missile. 
chains. gonna stink here is um, I'm not gonna be able to really re-roll this is gonna be an interesting one when it comes to this last when it comes to this last augment I probably have enough to do a re-roll but then that's gonna put me <laughs> that's gonna put me at like 40 health we're still gonna do it I'm still gonna do it cuz uh, no 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 get out Oh, uh, now I'm not going to be able to reroll at all. Ah, man, that reroll really can screw you, huh? Like, I haven't been able to recover from that since since I did it. We think the health too much... Do we think the health is too much of a penalty? I think it's fair to take health, but is it too much health? All right, let's do Falling Stars. Yeah, I'm not going to be able... I might even die here getting this quest. Get out! Okay, so unfortunately we didn't get that. Let's do... We'll just do this one. Aims at the highest health and then increases the base damage by 15%. Not the best one, but th at least it'll kind of target the boss here at the end. The explosions help still keep um, keep everything going too with. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What is this? Okay, let's do falling stars again. Oh! <laughs> no way! I, I thought for sure I was gonna get that help. Oh man! <laughs> Yeah, that, those re-rolls in the very beginning, that, man, that did not pay off for me very well. My deaths have nothing to do with how strong this build is, because you can tell this build is really good. This is all on me for, let's do Rune Burst, for re-rolling all my health and then not being able to recover it. And this is probably a hard map to do it on, too, because there's all the tornadoes. Um, it's probably too late for that XP game. Well, maybe it wasn't. But all the tornadoes, the lava... This is definitely not a good map for recovering your HP after losing all of it like that. See, that was on me. That's a skill issue right there. I just wasn't paying enough attention. Alright, let's do Falling Star again. More spell damage. Okay, let's do Falling Star again. Then let's get Lightning. Yeah, let's do it with Lightning. Take the legendary armor there. Yeah, I haven't been looking for the chest, but there should be another chest. Alright, 
right, let's do... Well, let's do the move speed for this one. top up here. Yeah, so we got two maxed out spells now. Um, Soul first storm. I wonder if we can get this volume or the get three three spells augmented all the way or infused. Okay, your armor is increased by the amount. That would give me a lot of armor. Um this would give me more, right? I think this is what, 40? 40? Complete four quests. This is 58. Now we know at least the, the boss is going to get targeted by my falling stars. Let's go see if I can get all this XP and see if we can get another fully infused spell here. Missile, we're one away. We're gonna try for it. I'm gonna try for it. There's a lot of XP on this map. Um, but we are kind of killing the boss kind of quick with just my falling stars. There it is. Three fully infused spells. That's the most I did there. Uh, let's do Glacial Ice on that one. Cool. I don't think I've ever in fully infused three spells before. Pretty solid. That's a lot of levels. Level 62 here. Granted, we did die two times. Other than that, that was a that was a really good run. But that all those rerolls really set me back. And we got the Wizard King. Yay! So let's check out our damage. Um, yeah, Falling Stars killed it. 3.2 million damage. And that was actually, we didn't even really get that that high a level either. It got to level 14 and then we stopped. So that, I mean, it's hard to say, like, it did out damage Rune Burst, but I also put all my augments into this one, so. And then 
this is pretty disappointing DPS down here. But again, I put all my augments into these guys. Um, th this was really low, though, for a level 14. Even though I guess maybe we put a lot of... I don't know, a lot of the updates, the upgrades for that came later in the game. So maybe that hurt it a little bit. But either way, that's still incredibly low compared to these two. But Falling Stars is definitely an S. Probably probably these are the best two spells in the game. I think still. And then these are, this one's bottom tier. I don't know about Magic Missile. I haven't played enough Magic Missile to see. Okay, let's return. I want to check this quest real quick. So outfits. So if we come down here, okay, you need to cast 9,001 Falling Stars. I'm at 7,000 right now, so that's not too bad. Uh, we have some upgrades here. Let's do... I, I've been hesitating doing spell size just because um, not every spell benefits from that. So I guess we'll go with that, and then we'll do... I guess we'll do critical damage for right now. I should probably put more into armor two next. Spell size is a good one, but there's really only that there's just it's only for like half the spells in the game, whereas, you know, crit chance affects every spell and things like that. So I've been a little hesitant on that one. And then I'll probably do the extra revive last. But there we go. That is it. That was our Falling Star build with the new character. He's pretty cool. I do like Falling Stars as a spell. And so it's nice that we have a character that can actually start off with it. Uh, eventually we'll... I wonder if we'll get new characters that'll start off with the new spells. Oh, that's it too. I officially have every wizard unlock. Uh, so who did I just unlock? This guy, Wizard King with Magic Missile. So maybe we'll try him too at some point. Because I do want to try to do a Magic Missile build, but we'll see. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.